Hey guys, poor Pimmonship Plano here. So yeah, <laughs> there's a lot going on <laughs> right now in the planner community. Um, I wanted to script this video out to make sure that I touched every point I wanted to touch on. Um, but I decided not to. Uh, I am just going to speak from my heart. Um, you guys don't know me outside of poor penmanship planner, but the people who do know me who are watching this video are not going to be surprised in the least by what I'm about to say. I am not going to stop using my Erin Condren products. I am not going to stop recommending my Erin Condren products. And I'm going to maintain my affiliate status with Erin Condren. I am a person who forgives. I do. I do. I forgive and give people chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. It's what I do. I don't know if it was because of how I was raised. I don't know. But it's who I am. It's where my heart is. So for the last two years, my New Year's resolution has been to be more gracious and more merciful. Because those things are important to me. Because I have to be able to look at myself in the mirror every day. What Erin Condren did was ignorant. It was selfish. It was reckless. It was disrespectful. There is not one single solitary thing that happened with that after graduation soiree that was right. Not right now. In the era of COVID with no masks on, in a state that's quadrupling daily, none of that was right. But I also don't think any of that was racist. I don't think any of that came from a place of maliciousness. I do think it came from a place of ignorance. <laughs> Privilege. Privilege is something Erin Condren and her kids and probably all those other kids have lived with their entire life. So much so that they don't recognize it when it's used. Yes, two weeks ago, a week ago, I can't remember, Erin Condren came out and talked about Black Lives Matter. And, and I don't think she I don't think she didn't mean that. I don't I think she meant it. But what I don't think she understands is her privilege. And I don't expect her to unlearn a lifetime of living in two weeks. It's not fair. It isn't fair. So I am going to give grace. I am going to be merciful because God, but for the grace of God, I could be Erin Condren right now. I can only imagine what's going through her mind right now. Not about her company, not about her money, but about her character, her character. Because regardless of how much money you have, regardless of your privilege, regardless of what company you started or own, your character is the only thing that stays here when you leave. And I am sure she is devastated because of the decisions that she made. I am sure of it. I don't condone it. I don't think it's okay. But I'm also not going to vilify her because of it. And I'm going to say this and, and I in no, by no means whatsoever do I mean to offend or point fingers or belittle in any way, shape or form. But when it comes to privilege, privilege has been around for a very long time. And I appreciate everyone who has noticed what is going on finally, who is willing to listen and who's willing to learn and who says they see me. I appreciate that. I am, I am grateful that we now have enough focus where it's supposed to be. But for me to appreciate and accept this, I have to give grace and mercy to you too, to them too, 
whoever the they are. Because four years ago, no one saw me. No one heard me. No one wanted to learn. Six years ago, no one saw me. No one heard me. No one wanted to learn. Eight years ago, no one saw me. No one heard me. No one wanted to learn. Eight years ago, Trayvon Martin, a kid with a hoodie and some Skittles, was killed, murdered by an overzealous community watchman. Six years ago, we talked about Black Lives Mattering in, in Ferguson because Mike Brown was killed with his hands in the air. No one heard us. No one saw us. No one learned. And when Colin Kaepernick kneeled, kneeled about the very same thing that we are fighting against and recognizing now, no one saw, no one heard, no one learned. Because your privilege allowed you to say nothing and not be impacted by it. But I don't hold that against anyone. I don't hold it against anyone. I also don't expect perfection. There are going to be missteps. There are going to be mistakes. It's what happens when there's growth. So this is really all I'm gonna say about the whole Aaron Condren thing. I prayed on it. And I was led to go the route in which my heart normally goes, which is to forgive. And that's what I'm going to do. So I know there's tons of you out there who probably are not going to agree with my position and that's fine. That's fine. I don't begrudge you because you disagree. So if you want to unsubscribe, unsubscribe. If you want to unfollow, unfollow. And I will bid you adieu with a happy planning. But I'm going to keep staying the course. So thank you guys for listening. Enjoy the video if you choose to watch it. And be blessed. Bye guys. Hey YouTube, Poor Penmanship Planner here, coming at you with another video. Now this is a special video, which is why it's coming out um, outside of my normal Wednesday posts, because I like to post my videos on Wednesdays. I don't know why, but I do. So this one is coming out outside of my normal posting schedule because I have something really exciting. Uh, Sam from Erin Condren, uh, reached out to me and asked if I would like to collaborate with them on the monthly, the new monthly planner. Now, if you saw my video on Wednesday of last week, um, I had already created <laughs> my um, monthly planner that I was going to use uh, and they got to me after the fact, but I will not turn it down. So I'm really excited uh, to have this opportunity. So we are gonna open up this box, take a look and see what I have in here, and just take it from there. So this box is huge, so I am going to get it open and hopefully not <laughs> ruin things. Here, let me do it sideways. Ah, it's so big. Okay, so our newsletter. Yay. And now let's go inside. Oh my goodness. Packaged so well, as it always is. Okay. I'm going to get all of these things out of here. 
and then I'm going to move this back. Sorry for all the noise. This box is huge. <laughs> okay. So let's take a look here at what I have. So, uh, Salmon reached out, which I'm super grateful for, uh, and asked if I wanted to, like I said, collaborate, and I totally do. Even though I've already bought my planner that I'm gonna use as my monthly for budgeting, because I use my monthly planner for budgeting, um, and the one I created is the one that uh, I'm gonna be using for my budgeting. Um, and so then I decided uh, that I really wanted this one because there's some other things that I want to do, and I want something dedicated um, that I can only use for those things. So before we get into how I'm gonna use it, let's take a look. So I um, love this. She designed a life she loved. I chose that because of what I plan on doing with this um, monthly. So we can take a look let me move this out of the way. We'll look at that next. So let's take a look inside here. So it is now the monthly planner. It was the deluxe monthly planner. Um, and I guess to streamline and make it less um, confusing to people, uh, they decided to just call it the monthly planner. Now I'm pulling out my current monthly planner so I will use it um, to do a comparison. So we have our monthly planner here. Um, we have our two page quotes and this is in the colorful layers design. Um, I tend to use colorful when I know there's gonna be times when I don't wanna do a lot of decorating. So at least there'll be some color there and I can just put a sticker or two on instead of a lot of stickers. So that's kind of why I went with a colorful layers. So here we have our 18 months from July 2020 to December 2021. This is actually on the um, July to June um, schedule. So this planner starts in July and will end in June of uh, 2021. Um, the other one I have is actually for the calendar year of 2021. So it starts in January and ends in December. And so here we have our boxes to do whatever we want to do with. I love that you have this flexibility to do whatever you want to do with these because it's really helpful to focus on um, your month and what you want to accomplish that month, I think. So we have our first quote page, which is find beauty in the everyday. July is really pretty blue. And now we are at our monthly. So we have just that uh, layers motif across the top and then some color down here, but the rest is like not super colorful. Um, last year, and I'm last year I was really new to Erin Condren. So the fact that this didn't open to the month uh, wasn't something that bothered me, but it's because I didn't have anything to compare it to. But I have to tell you, I do like um, that it opens to the month instead of to the... Um, productivity pages because it you know it's not a whole lot of work to just turn that extra page it just it's just better if it goes to the month especially since I use my Erin Condren horizontal for work and having to do that extra turn in a meeting or whatever is you know it's just easier this way so you have your monthly here um, then you have a line page and your productivity page so with this page you can actually carry over what you might have set up for your intention for that month and just carry it over here so that you have it right in front of you what you want to do for that month. Now the difference between the monthly and of course the, the normal life planner is that it does not have a weekly spread. Everything in here is going to be based on the month. So you have your monthly, then you have your productivity pages and then you just go into lined pages. Um, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then this page will go for the next month. So I have eight pages to work with. So I'm going to pull out, um, my current one and then we'll take a look at the difference. 
So this is my current one that I'm using right now for my budgeting. And if we, I'll go to August because I didn't do anything in August in this one. So I'll go to August. Let's just compare them. So you see the color is sort of, you know, it's a similar color. Um, that orange or yellowish type, mm, goldish color, goldenrod, I would say. Um, I do, I liked the kaleidoscope, but it was a lot of color. Um, and I like that this is just one color. So, and here is that difference I said. Well, so here you have a blank page and here it goes directly to the productivity page. Whereas with the new one, it opens right to your monthly. So once you have your productivity page, then you go into your monthly. Um, I didn't really care for this uh, colored notes section here because it was really hard to like move away from the color that was already here. Um, so luckily they have taken that away and this is just white. So you can put some bottom washi on and some top washi on if you want and completely change the color of August. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, here's another thing. Once we get into the new one, you get a full page, just full page. Whereas here, Though you have a full page, there's that little asterisk uh, Erin Condren logo right here on every page. So I wanna count the pages in this um, year's, the one I'm using right now, to see what the difference is between the pages. So one, two, three, four. So there's four pages. The one I'm currently using has four pages. This one has eight, which I think is awesome. Now you do have the option on the website when you're ordering um, a monthly planner to add additional pages. I did um, decide to add the additional 40 pages. I think you can add 40 and I think you can add 80 if I'm not mistaken, but I just added the 40 um, additional pages. And um, so that's probably why I have the eight. So we can continue to look through. September is so pretty. So it's gonna be the same all the way through. The only thing that's gonna change is the color scheme. Um, so you still have your productivity page and then you'll have your eight pages to work with. And like I said, this is going to go from July to um, June. So this is October, November, December. I really love this color for January. So pretty. January, February, March, and April, May. It's kind of I like the the muted of the pe the peach that I like. I like that a lot. And then finally, June. So this is June 2021. And let's just see what the end of the book looks like, of the planner. So you still have your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you still have your eight pages. And then you go to your pre-planning um, calendar for 2022. And then you have another um, quotes page. And then that takes you into a section of notes. So let's see, so you have a full note page here. I'm just gonna try and count these note pages really quick. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 40. So there are 40. That was fun, right? Walking through that while I added all those up. There are 40 line pages in the notes section. So that's going to be in addition to um, the ones that are dispersed throughout the planner. And then it also comes with 
these uh, little flags uh, that do have the little Aaron Condon asterisk on them. Um, these flags fit perfectly in the month um, box for the monthly. So it'll fit perfectly in this box. And they have the colors that uh, match as well. So this is a really uh, helpful planner if you have um, like a particular project that you're working on or like if you want to use it for budgeting, which I use my other one for. Um, but it, it's really helpful if you want to focus on one particular thing and let that thing be what runs this, you know, planner. So this is my monthly and I'm going to go through some of the other stuff that I got and then I'll come back to this and tell you how I hope to use it. So the next thing I got was some colorful dual tip markers. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I have purchased uh, Erin Condren markers before and I ended up giving them away. Um, the, the issue I have is, as you guys know, I am the poor penmanship planner. So I have to be really careful with the type of huh, with the type of, of writing instrument that I use and I struggle with the, I struggle with opening this box evidently. I struggle with the, it's a dual tipped. Um, this also happens because I don't have any nails like I should, but you know. Okay, this is fun. Hold please while I work through that. There we go. Oh. Sorry if you guys heard that. It's like nails on the chalkboard. My goodness. Okay. Eat, get. Like I tell you, it's packaged really well. <laughs> um, so they are a double, a dual tipped marker. So you have a fine tip here. And then you have like a medium tip here. Now, if I knew how to beautifully flourish my writing and, and that I would be able to use this tip here, it's this part that I have a problem with. This one I can use okay because it's so fine. I don't have an issue with it, which is why I got these again because I need to give them another go, another try, and not judge them based on that other side. So in this box, I have uh, magenta. This is this one. Dark orange. But it doesn't look very dark to me. Teal, cornflower, purple, and black. I believe this is the classic set, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is just the classic set. So they have a lot of different ones with different themes, and this is just the classic. So I also got a pen loop here that I am going to put uh, here and... Um, be able to keep my one of my dual tip markers on the end there. And this I'm really excited about. So this is a monthly desk pad. Um, it starts in August 2020 and goes to December 2021. And I don't know if you can see, but it's foiled. Yeah, so pretty. So let's get this open so we can take a look at it. So pretty. I'm going to figure out how to put it actually on my wall because um, I don't want it um, on my my desk. I want it. I want it on my wall. So let's get this open. And it's it's pretty big. It's pretty heavy too. So I have to figure out how I can get it to hang and not fall. So that'll be fun. Okay, so it has these great little plastic uh, covers on the end here that you can stick your the calendar in to work your way through it. Um, every month is a different metallic color. And there's also a, a different inspirational quote every month. This is on the website uh, for, I think it's $30. But it's really massive, pretty substantial. I like it. I like it. I like it. So it actually starts. This is just like a cover page because it actually starts in August. Oh, so pretty. I want to get 
them all out <laughs> so that I can show you um, what it looks like without going through the, all the months. So this is August. The boxes are pretty large and this is a nice uh, long notes area. So I think this would work out really well. Um, oh, look at September. It's so pretty. So I am going to be using this in conjunction with my um, another planner I have as my content planner. So as to do my content. So I'm going to put on here, you know, when I'm filming, when I'm posting um, and try to keep, in, keep on track that way. So I know at the end of this, there we go. So like I said, it's, I don't want to break anything. I saw you guys, I have more trouble. <laughs> so um, you have every month and every month is going to be foiled. And I believe the foiling is going to match the color of your life planner or your um, monthly. So every month is going to match what the color scheme is in your planner. But at the end, uh, at the back of this great, heavy desk uh, calendar are stickers. A ton of stickers. Sorry for the shaking, you guys. There are Bill Do stickers, To Do stickers, Love It stickers, uh, holiday stickers, appointment stickers. We have some circles and, again, some... Uh, flags here that you can use. You have some birthday stickers and I mean there's just so many stickers. Uh, you have just this one page but you can use all of those on this um, monthly desk pad. So I'm really excited to have this. I am and I love the back of it. These mid-century circles are beautiful. I love the colorful mid-century circles. Just gorgeous. So that's that. And then finally, I got uh, some, they're petite planner goal setting uh, stickers, um, but I thought it would be appropriate because of what I am going to use my planner for. So you get two pages of stickers and they're foiled and they're so pretty. Uh, it's the same thing on both pages. So you have good things take planning, plan on it, turn your dreams into plans. A little progress each day adds up to big results. You never know what you can achieve until you try. So they're, you know, inspirational goal setting um, stickers, which I think will come in handy uh, for what I plan on using my deluxe monthly planner for. So now let's go, sorry, monthly planner is not a deluxe monthly anymore. So now um, let's go back to the monthly planner. So in the spring seasonal surprise box, um, Erin Condren put in uh, a vision journal um, to, you know, help you make plans, goals, visions, to turn those visions, you know, into reality. Um, they did go ahead and release a vision journal um, on the website. So you can purchase one of these. I believe it's $21. Um, uh, so I'm going to be using my vision journal with my monthly planner. So I haven't filled it out yet. Um, I haven't done it yet, but because I need to, to do it. Uh, but it's like when the vision is clear, strategy is easy. So it's a vision journal and it has helpful tools for visual journaling, vision, vision journaling, <laughs> getting started and creating your vision. So it has some like instructions and ideas to help you get to where you want to be. It has what's happened in the past, you know, three, six, nine, 12 months, um, what I'm proud of. And you circle the period of time that you want to refer to. And so it has all of these prompts to help get you to, you know, what you want that goal or that vision to be. So I have two visions right now that I want to make a reality. Um, and the first one, which I have not filled in yet, is I want to do the Fly Lady cleaning system. I'm not sure if you've heard of that, but it's like this 
one million steps, it's not really a million steps, but a bunch of steps um, cleaning system uh, to just, you know, get your house clean, you can do deep clean, and then what you do after that is um, you, you kind of just maintain. You do little things to maintain cleaning. And I really want to start that, but I need somewhere to start, right? I thought I would start uh, with my sink because they have this whole clean sink, shiny sink thing, but I haven't started it yet. So I am going to use the rest of June to work through what I want my Fly Lady cleaning system um, to look like. And then I will use my monthly to keep me honest um, and making sure that I'm hitting, you know, hitting those marks so that I can make this come true, basically. And then um, with the extra pages, what I want to do is note on here, use this as kind of like a journal um, where I can reflect on what worked for me, what didn't work for me, what challenges did I have? Like, you know, I didn't get this done because I had to work late, we had a special project or something like that um, to kind of help me understand if I don't hit my mark, why didn't I hit what I said? Or, and if I do, what did I do? So I can make sure I do it in another month. So that's what I'm gonna use these pages for. Now, I actually have more than one vision. <laughs> the uh, Fly Lady is my first one. And then my second vision is, uh, it's, a, it's, it's, an, it's an or vision. I really want to, you know, I just, I just want to lose like 35 pounds or two dress sizes, whichever comes first. Um, <laughs> I say that because the way that I'm built or the way that I'm made or whatever, um, the scale and I, I don't see my success on the scale. I really see it in my clothes and in inches because I'll lose inches before I lose any weight on the scale. So that's why I say 35 pounds or um, two dress sizes. So that's what I'm going to put here. And I don't really know how I'm going to do that. So again, I since this starts in July, it's given me enough time to use June to try and figure out how am I going to achieve this? What do I need to do to lose, you know, 35 pounds or um, two dress sizes? So that is going to go in here. And then in conjunction with the fly lady is I will have milestones. Do, do I want to lose, you know, two pounds a week or one pound a week? And I can use this to keep track of that. And then again, designate, you know, some of the note pages for Fly Lady and then some of the note pages for um, my fitness or my weight loss journey and look at, you know, this worked, this didn't work. I had a really good week doing this. And that's what I'm going to use these pages for just to keep me honest and to keep me... Um, in line with with what I have planned so I cannot wait to get started with my visions and um, setting up my planner to make sure that I hit those um, benchmarks that I want and one of the really great things about this vision journal is that it has just a blank space here for you to do like vision boarding and I said in I think the um, video where I showed my seasonal surprise box I've never been like that vision that vision boarding you know, cut the pictures out of the magazine girl. Um, but I'm going to give it a try. I mean, it, 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 I'm, I'm older now. I'm more mature. Maybe I can do it. <laughs> so I will be using my, putting my vision here, putting my plan here, and then making it work in this monthly using these pages to track my successes, my opportunities, uh, work, work the best, what didn't, because I need to know when you're in it and you're doing it, you're not necessarily gonna remember what worked and what didn't work. So this is going to give me, you know, I can keep track of uh, what's going to be working and, and continue to do those things or what doesn't work. So if I forget at another time that that didn't work for me, I'm like, no, that didn't work. So we're not gonna try that. So that is what I plan on using my monthly uh, planner for. I will do another video where I'm gonna set it up and 
uh, show the vision journal and stuff, but I didn't want to make this video super long. Um, so I just really wanted to show some of the, the product that I got and how I was going to use it. So again, uh, I'm really grateful to Erin Condren and the team for uh, wanting to collaborate with me. It's an awesome opportunity and I, I am very blessed and, and thankful for it. Um, so here's everything that I got, you know, my pin loop, my stickers, my encouraging stickers to make sure I get my fly lady and, you know, weight loss journey done. Um, some colorful dual tip markers, which I'm going to give another try. <laughs> this gorgeous monthly desk pad, and then my monthly planner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize for the noise and <laughs> for the struggle getting the, um, showing you the monthly desk pad. I swear I struggle in every video with something, taking something off or putting on a cover. But, you know, I'm the poor penmanship planner. So that's what happens with me. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I would really love um, to hear your suggestions with regard to, you know, is that something you think would, I think it's going to work. But do you have any suggestions on how I can combine the two? Or is this something you're interested in? Do you use a monthly planner? And if so, what, what are you using your monthly planner for? Um, if you've seen anything that you like in this video, um, whether it be the vision journal, the monthly planner, the pad or whatever, all of these things, because they're also very wonderful. I do have some affiliate links uh, in the description below. So if you did want to purchase, you can click on one of those links to take you over to Erin Condren. Uh, I do get a small commission when you use those links, but it is to no charge to you. So you're not paying anything extra. Um, it is just um, an opportunity uh, for me to um, make sure I can still have content on my channel. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate any comments that you have. And if you can go ahead and put those comments below, uh, if you can like and subscribe or dislike, but if you're going to dislike, please let me know in the comments what you didn't like so I can try and improve. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to get into this um, monthly planner and that vision uh, journal. I, I'm really excited. So thank you guys again for watching. Um, I will catch you in my next video. So happy planning, guys. Bye.